Okay, hello everybody. That's, uh, I have loaded the wrong uh, functional group update here, so let me just fix that. That's uh, the one from January. Um, so it's the 15th of February. Um, my name is Sean McGiven. I'm the uh, engineering manager for the uh, discussion backend uh, band at GitLab. Um, and this is what we've been up to lately. Um, on the portfolio management side, uh, we've added a bunch of stuff. This is probably the, the coolest one to show in a screenshot. Um, it's a roadmap view of your epics with their start and end dates. So um, thanks to Jan and Kushal for um, working on that. Um, we have a really cool community contribution. Um, it's probably my favorite community contribution that I can remember since I joined GitLab, um, but I might be missing something even cooler. Uh, anyway, this one's really cool. Um, now in a commit page, um, it links to any merge requests that contain that commit. So um, most cases that's one, but if you have multiple merge requests with the same commit to different branches, it will show you um, those there, um, which is really nice because it's super easy to get backwards and forwards and look at the, um, the review that happened around that commit. Um, and uh, that was a great contribution from the community member, Hiroyuki Sato. So thank you very much, Hiroyuki, for working so hard on that. Um, We've been working on uh, uploads to object storage. Um, we mentioned that uh, last time. Uh, we have now started to, like, this is deployed, um, but there have been some issues. Uh, we are getting there. Um, I've listed some issues out there. Um, Camille has also created a retrospective issue, so I am going to update the slides to link to that issue as well um, in future. Um, but we are getting there and it's, it's happening. Um, some performance improvements that I mentioned last time that weren't quite done. Um, the issues in merge request dashboard now will only time out when you don't search, when you don't have any filters applied. So when it's trying to show you all issues or merge requests across any project you can see. Um, I feel kind of bad that I'm talking about an improvement as it only timing out in one specific case. Um, but because it's one specific case, um, that's good because then we can just say like we don't support that and um, then it, <laughs> it will actually perform properly in every other case. Um, so Felipe did a really great job there. Um, global search also mostly doesn't time out anymore. Um, we still have a few cases where it does, but Jan did a great job um, iterating on the, the solution there because we tried a few different things. Um, now we limit um, the amount of search results we will display or show to 1000 because um, that's 50 pages at 20 a page, and we don't expect people to be um, going through that many pages without narrowing it down. Um, we also improved the performance of the merge request widget polling. Um, so when you're on a merge request page, um, the widget is the thing that says like, you know, merge, it's got the pipeline status, it's got uh, the approval status. So when we poll for that in the back end, there's a bunch of um, stuff we have to run. Um, and it was quite inefficient. It is now slightly less inefficient. Um, and I also made a, uh, so thanks Oswaldo for that, sorry. And um, I also made a change, which is mostly of interest to backend developers, but I thought I'd mention it here um, because it will help performance get better in the future um, in that it's now easier to profile a page um, and test those changes interactively in the Rails console because um, it's, a, it's a REPL, a redeveloper in loop. So you can, um, you can make changes to the application and then profile those new changes inside the same interactive session, which is really nice for um, testing those changes and seeing how much of an impact they have. Other stuff, um, Mario joined the team. Um, the, uh, the most notable thing he's done, apart from um, help fix a bunch of specs um, close to the freeze, which was really, really helpful, is um, showing why a notification email was sent. Um, so you might notice this in some emails you get now from GitLab, it'll say that you received this email not because of your account on GitLab, but because you were assigned to the issue or something like that. We're gonna add more reasons in future, but that's really cool that we've uh, started adding that. It's both in the email body and in a, a special header. Um, we also have uh, an API for search now, thanks to Yarka for doing that. It works with the standard search as well as Elasticsearch. Um, and, uh, when you're on the group issues and merge requests page, we now show issues and merge requests from subgroups as well as from this specific group, which is also cool. So thanks to Yaka for that as well. Um, we're working on batch commenting for merge requests. Um, this is, we were planning to ship in 10.6, but it's been bumped to 10.7. Basically, 
um, we need to do a front end refactor here and it's it's quite a complicated refactor so that's blocking um, uh, the actual feature um, so the feature will be much easier to implement um, whereas it would be very very hard to implement if we didn't do this refactor so um, it's it's important to do but it is taking time um, Felipe and Fati and Simon um, I will update the slides to mention Simon as well <laughs> are all working uh, hard on that um, right now um, what's coming up uh, more portfolio management stuff we're helping the uh, in effort to uh, complete the GKE integration stuff we're doing in GitLab. We're adding an API for approvers and we are trying to reduce the load times for merge request diffs. Um, those are sort of the things that are uh, top of my mind. And um, I'm out of slides, so I'm going to check the chat. Um, <laughs> so uh, Yob says, uh, Accept merge requests when build succeeds is, is his favorite. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a community contribution, but it seems like ZJ did it before he joined, in which case, yeah, that's that's a strong contender because I spend a lot of my day clicking that merge when pipeline succeeds button. Um, so that's 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 definitely had a big impact on my life. Thanks, ZJ. Um, I'll give everybody sort of 15 seconds for questions. Otherwise, um, we can get on with our day. What am I most proud of recently shipping you? Um, personally, I don't really ship much except bug fixes. I think as a team, um, I'm really glad that we got the object storage refactor done. Um, it's still not quite there, but I'm really glad that like, you know, we have refactored this, we have decided where we can improve this in future. We've identified those areas and we can, um, we are very close to being able to start moving um, uploads and LFS objects to object storage on gitlab.com. So I'm really happy about that. Um, Brendan asks, is there any chance for a Victor style quick feature video on uh, roadmaps? Uh, I can't do it now. <laughs> I, I can uh, see if the team can do it. We actually have um, a weekly um, demo um, slash sync for um, portfolio management. So I think there might be one recorded from there, but if there's not, I will um, see if we can record one and get that shared out. Um, Approvers API is coming is important to a large strategic customer. Uh, John mentions, yep, thanks, thanks for mentioning that. I think um, it's, it's good that it's important to a customer. It's also been a gap in our API for a while um, that we have this feature with no API support. So I'm, I'm glad that like we've searched in this release that we're filling in those gaps and that we're making our API um, more of a first class system. Oh, you're just going to ask Victor to do it during his FGU next week, which is even better because that means no work for me. Um, awesome. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for the questions and um, have a great day, everybody. Um, enjoy the time until the team call. <laughs>